I'm Blockchain Crusader, and we're going to be crusading through these blockchains. We're going to be diving into Solana, Render, and IMX. So let's get ready, rock and roll. But first, guys, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe. 71% of you guys are watching these videos are not subscribed. Let's fix that. Let's hit that subscribe. And if you're not following me over on X, B Chain Crusader, go do that as well. So first up, we got Solana. Let's freaking go, right? Solana has been on a massive tear, as you guys can see. Since 138, we've been nothing but up, up, and away. We front ran the 210 level, putting us into this new all-time high range up here. Right, This is the last range, you guys. This blue zone up here, it is the last range before making all-time highs for Solana. But guess what? We got rejected. We had a massive tear. We broke out of this very steep upward trend, and now we're ranging, guys. And I expect us to continue ranging here until the markets decide, right? Potentially even up, up to after the halving. Because I do believe once Bitcoin finally decides after the halving whether it's going to pump or it's going to dump, we will see Solana here in its move. But I do foresee this sideways consolidation building support here. Meanwhile, we stay above 173, which is the value area high for this previous blue range that we were in. Above 173, Solana is solid right here, building a foundational level at this floor price before we finally make a move towards this new range up here, sitting with a value area low of $210. Once we get above that and can close above here, the point of control is sitting at $241, which is the point of most volume traded when we were in this range previously from back in 2021. The all-time high is 250 That's the value area high as well. We break above that, Solana goes into price discovery. But first, Solana needs a foundation here to go sideways and build buying pressure here at these levels before we can make that move up next render everybody wants to know where's render going if you guys didn't already know i got a price prediction for render link is up above right here go check that out if you want to check out my price prediction for render for this bull market but where is it going in the short term right now it's not looking too good render is sitting below the value area low for March's range, right? We've broken out of the March range. We've broken out of the value area low, which is this white line right here, and we're heading below it. We've kind of having what seems to be a potential reversal here if we can find some support at $9.41. But this value area low is holding as, as resistance right now, and we got rejected from it. So it's not looking too good in the aspect that if we do not reclaim $9.76 here soon, then we don't have any volume here because you can see it's a massive single print, not a lot of volume here at all, which would take us all the way down to the first initial support level being at $7.99. Between that and the value area high for February sitting at $7.09, that is going to be the zone for support here for, for render if we do not reclaim this $9.76. If we do, then the logical target up here is the point of control, which is $10.96. And once we can get back above that level, the value area high for the March range is $12.55. The question is, and will continue to be, can Render here reclaim that? Or are we going to just get pushed all the way back down and not reclaim this value area low? That's what we gotta keep an eye on right now. This is critical. If we don't keep this up, if we don't reclaim this level, we're heading down to about eight dollars eight dollars flat so it is what it is overall long term very bullish on render got my price prediction like i said go check it out if you haven't already and last but not least imx right everybody wants to know about crypto gaming everybody keeps asking me about imx and like i said guys if you guys want me to cover certain altcoins join my telegram my telegram you guys can drop all the altcoins in my Telegram, you can drop all the altcoins you want, and I will pick those, and I will make sure I make videos on, on it for you guys covering it. So IMX is in an interesting position here. We're still respecting the February range. March was very much still within the February range. So what's happening? What to expect here? We're currently sitting right at, right below the value area low for February, which is that great. But as you can see here, we had a swing fail of this two dollars and 61 cents here as you can see we have a little bit of a mini uptrend here on, on this aspect we made a low and then we made a higher low right which is good this is something you want to see so this two dollars and 61 cents is the first line of defense if that is lost then we're headed towards this two dollars and 35 cents if that is lost and that doesn't hold then the volume comes in at two dollars and 15 cents which is the value area high for january so that's the worst case scenario for IMX. Now, if we can reclaim this value area low and stay above it, right, we also have a high, lower high, 
kind of a higher high here, right? You could kind of just maybe put this together as one, a little bit of a double top situation too. If you look at it closely, look top, double top, boom, came down, right? Not good. So if we can reclaim $3.10 without resistance, then we can definitely go shoot for the point of control at $3.35. And then once we can reclaim this level, we're going to have to really test this $3.66 cents to the three dollars and 75 cents that's going to be resistance as you can see here we tapped it rejected right we came back up to the point of value to the value area high we wicked above it to this point of three dollars and 75 cents got rejected came down so massive resistance being built up here right now so we will see once we reclaim the point of control at three dollars 35 cents can we once again break above 363 and hold it or are we going to be rejected again for imx and continue ranging Regardless, if we continue to range, right, this is the opportunity for dollar cost averaging, not financial advice, not telling you guys what to do. But the longer something goes sideways, eventually it has a bigger move to the upside, especially since we're in a bull market, right? But that's obviously not financial advice. That's just what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking in for. So, guys, if you have any more altcoins, make sure you join my private telegram. Link is down below. Join the private telegram. Drop the altcoins in there, and I will make videos covering it for you. Until next time, this is Blockchain Crusader, crusading through the blockchains. See ya.